it's another math day here with teacher jenny join me for another topic this time we're going to talk about derivatives and the activity given to my students another one is q of x equal to x to the power 5 minus 2x plus 4 times the entire 3x squared minus 4x minus 6 so getting our derivative of that one, we just have to do our product rule in which we follow that once if, if this is um, Q, sorry, that's Q prime X. And then we let this one as our F and G. Then using the product rule, that means to say that we are going to do G f prime plus f g prime so following the format we can have their g so we just simply copy the g there the second the second factor which is 3x squared minus 4x minus 6 and then we get the derivative of the second the the first factor which is x to the power 5 minus 2x plus 4 and then plus our f of x which is or our f which is x to the power 5 minus 2x plus 4 and then we get the derivative of the other factor which is 3x squared minus 4x minus 6 so simplifying that one this is now 3x squared minus 4x minus 6. Getting the derivative of each of the terms here, we start with this. Bring down 5. I mean, copy 5. And then we have x to the power 5 minus 1. Then we have minus 2. This is x here with 1 minus 1, that's a 0. x to the power of 0, that's 1. So we have minus 2. And this one is constant, that is a 0. So plus, copy x to the power of 5, minus 2x plus 4. Get the derivative of the second factor. This is now, uh, we bring down our 2 there. So this will become 3 times 2, that's 6. And then x to the power of 2 minus 1, minus 4. 4 this is with 1 so 4 times 1 is 1 4 and then x to the power of 1 minus 1 is 0 so x to the power of 0 is 1 and then this one is a 0 so simplifying this is now 3x squared minus 4x minus 6 times 5x to the power of 4 minus 2 plus x to the power of 5 minus 2x plus 4 times 6x to the power of 1 minus 4. So simplifying this one, we just distribute. So this is now 3x squared times 5x to the power of 4. This is 3 times 5, that's 15. x to the power of 2 plus 4, that's 6. Then distribute this to the other one. 3x squared minus 2, that's 3 times negative 2, that's negative 6. x to the power of 2. Next one, we distribute our negative 4x to this. So negative 4 times 5, that's negative 20. x to the power of, this is with 1, 1 plus 4, that's 5. Distribute negative 4x to the other one. So negative 4 times negative 2, that's positive 8. Then copy x. We go for negative 6, distributing that to 5x to the power 4. Negative 6 times 5, that's a negative 30. Then copy x to the power 4. Negative 6 times negative 2, that's a positive 12. This time we are now distributing this to that one. So x to the power 5 times 6x that will be plus 6x 5 plus 1 that is 6 
and then distribute this to the other one x to the power 5 plus negative 4 that's negative 4 x to the power 5 next distribute negative 2x to 6x negative 2 times 6 that's negative 12 x to the power this is with 1 1 plus 1 that's 2 so next negative 2x times negative 4 negative 2 times negative 4 that's positive 8 copy x lastly we have 4 times 6x that will be 4 times 6 that's 24 and then copy x 4 times negative 4 that's negative 16 and then we combine like terms we start with the highest exponent which is 6 this one and that one we will be combining 15 plus 6 that's 21 x to the power of 6 will be copied next we have 5 this one and that one negative 20 minus 4 that's negative 24 copy x to the power of 5 we have 4 here we don't have any other 4 so we just simply copy that one minus 30 x to the power of 4 followed by 3 we don't have 3 followed by 2 this one and that one so negative 6 minus 12 that's negative 18 then copy x squared followed by x this one and that one so 8x plus 8x that's 16x then followed by the numbers we have 12 oh we still have 24x yeah so 16 plus 24x that will be 40 That's a 40x. And then followed by the number, we have 12 minus 16. That will be negative 4. And that will be our q prime of x. So next one, we have our r of x equal to this is quotient so if this is our f and uh, g so r prime of x now will be equal to g times f prime minus f times g prime over g squared so we follow that one so r prime of x that will be equal to g is 3x minus x to the power of 4 and then times f prime this is d over dx you can actually do directly if you want to if you can do it you can do directly on that one and then we have minus f we copy for minus 2x minus x cubed and then get the derivative of the denominator which is 3x minus x to the power of 4. And then over we square this one. So 3x minus x to the power of 4. And then square it. So right next we are going to simply uh, get the derivative of that one. So we have 3x minus x to the power of 4. The derivative of that is this one will be cancelled negative 2 and then x we have an x with a part 1 here so this will become a 1 because 1 minus 1 is a 0 so x to the part 0 is 1 so this is negative 2 followed by we put down 3 so we have a minus put down 3 and then x to the power 3 minus 1 that's a 2 and then we have minus 4 minus 2x minus x cubed and then times uh, the derivative of that this is 3 x to the power of 1 minus 1 is a 0 so x to the power of 0 is 1 and then we have a minus put down exponent 4 and then copy x to the power of 4 minus 1 that's a 3 and then at the bottom part we have our 3x minus x to the power of 4 squared let's expand that one later on to check whether we can try to cancel out a factor at the top 
So distributing now, 3x times negative 2, that will be negative 6x. 3 times negative 2, that's negative 6. Copy x. 3x times negative 3x squared, so 3 times negative 3, that's negative 9 x to the power of this is with 1 1 plus 2 that's 3 and then mine and the next one we distribute negative x to the power of 4 2 negative 2 that will be negative times negative that's a positive copy 2 copy x to the power of 4 negative x to the power of 4 times negative 3 x squared that will be with a positive 3 x to the power of 4 plus 2 that's 6 and then next we have a minus and then we try to enclose this one in a parenthesis because this is a minus. So distribute 4 here. So 4 times 3, that's a 12. 4 times negative 4, that's a negative 16. Copy x cubed. Then this one, distribute that to 3. Negative 2x times 3, that's a negative 2 times 3, that's a negative 6. Copy x. Negative 2x times 4x, ne negative 4x cubed. That's a positive 8x to the power of, this is with 1, 1 plus 3, that's 4. Negative 2x, that's done. Let's go to negative x cubed, distribute that one here. So that will be negative 3x cubed. Negative x cubed times negative 4x cubed. That will become a positive 4 x to the power of 3 plus 3, that's a 6, over 3x minus x to the power of 4, raised to the power of 2. Then that will be equal to simplifying the top. We can simply combine if whatever we can combine here, but I think there's none. We distribute the negative sign inside. That means to say all the terms here will change its sign. So copying negative 6x minus 9x cubed plus 2x to the power of 4 plus 3x to the power of 6. Distribute the sign. This is now from positive 12 to, to, to negative 12. From negative 16x cubed to positive 16x to the power of 3. From negative 6x to plus 6x. From plus 8x to the power of 4 to a minus 8x to the power of 4. And then from minus 3x cubed, that will be a plus 3x cubed. From plus 4x to the power of 6, that will be minus 4x to the power of 6. And then we can combine that one uh, next. And we copy the denominator. And then later on, we'll know whether we can uh, try to simply... Um, expand our denominator. So continuing that process, we can combine like terms here. So the like terms that we can combine, we can start with the highest exponent. We have a 6, wherein we have that one here. So 3 minus 4, that's a negative x to the power of 6. So that's a negative 1. And then we copy x to the power of 6. Followed by 5, we don't have a, an exponent of 5. So we go for 4. We have this one and that one. So we have 2 minus 8, that is negative 6. And then copy x to the power of 4. Then followed by 3. This is with negative 9x cubed. And then plus 16. That will be 7x cubed. And then plus 3x cubed. That's a 10x cubed. Next followed by 2. We don't have a power of 2. So we have uh, x negative 6x plus 6x that's a 0 we don't have any other uh, x so we are now down to an exponent we have negative 12 or a minus 12
and then since out from that one we cannot uh, think of anything to cancel out the bottom part we can expand that one using the special product so the special product says we are to square our first term so that is 3x squared so 3 squared that's 9 x squared that's an x squared then we have to multiply 2 here so since that, that's a minus so this is a minus and then 2 or twice the product of the two terms so 3x times x to the power of 4 and then we square x to the power of 4 so squaring x to the power of 4 we multiply the exponent so that will be a plus x to the power of 8 so simplifying that one this is now negative x to the power of 6 minus 6x to the power of 4 plus 10x cubed minus 12 over Arranging this one, we've got x to the power of 8. And then followed by this, the result of this. Let me just arrange that one later on so that to avoid confusion. So we have 9x squared. And then 2 times 3, that's uh, 6. x to the power of, this is with 1, 1 plus 4, that's a 5. And then plus x to the power of 8. So arranging for the final answer, this is now negative x to the power of 6 minus 6x to the power of 4 plus 10x cubed minus 12 over 8x to the power of 8 minus 6x to the power of 5 plus 9x squared. That will be our r prime of x or the derivative of our r of x so again i'll see you on the next video for this